hey guys welcome back to my channel edgy motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this coca cola logo animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started so here we are in adobe after effects let's create a new composition we will name it as main animation width i'll choose 9 to 20 height is 180 frame rate is 30 second duration i'll choose 30 seconds only and background color i'll choose solid black and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit title safe action press ctrl i to import our files i have this coca cola bottle and this coca cola logo link is available in the description you can download from the drive link i'll select both of them and simply hit import so i have these files in my project window now first i'll uh, drag and drop this bottle image in my main animation comp press s for scaling option to scale it down just like that now convert this layer into 3d first select this layer press p for position and create one keyframe zoom in a little bit and go to around 20 frames and again create one keyframe now go to the start and i'll move this thing on y axis and i'll drag it at the top just like that now after that after few frames again create one keyframe and in middle of it i'll simply move a little bit upwards like that so if we hit play now we will get this kind of animation now select those layers hit f9 to ease in ease those keyframes go to the graph editor and i'll select this graph and i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here zoom in a little bit go over here select this handle by holding shift i'll move this thing over here and this handle over here so now if i hit play i'll get this bouncy look over here now i'll go over here and instead of active camera i'll choose stop view i'll click on this position text so it will select all the keyframes and make sure that your current time indicator is at the last frame and i'll move this thing over here like that now hit ctrl d again press p again select all the keyframes and move this thing on z axis to somewhere around here like that now i'll go to my active camera we will get this kind of animation now i'll create one null object like that and then i'll convert this null object into 3d now if i see in my top view as you can see we have these two bottles over here and in middle of them we have this null object again i'll go to the active camera now now select both the bottles and make it parent with this null one select this null one and press r for rotation property like that now after this bouncing animation at this point I'll create one keyframe on this Y position of this null one and around 20 frames I'll make it let's say 180 and let's see how does it looks it looks like that now select both the layers press R over here and create keyframes on Y rotation over here go forward and now at this point I'll make them minus 180 like that sorry for the firecracker sound now if i hit play now we'll get this kind of rotation now select both the key all the keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here like that now we will create some pop and pop animation so i'll select my rectangle tool and i have this uh, stroke i don't want any fill the only thing i want over here is the stroke and i think instead of rectangle we will choose ellipse and i'll create one ellipse over here press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center press v for selection tool and i'll move this thing over at the bottom and at this point i want this thing to be animated so hit square open bracket i'll make this fit press p for position create one keyframe 
After that, make sure that you are pressing Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Then press S and again create one keyframe. In the search bar, I'll type stroke width and create one keyframe. Now hit U, just like that. And go to around, go around here. I'll move this thing over here. Select this and I'll move this thing over here. Just like that stroke width i'll choose zero at this point and initially i'll choose scale zero and at this point i'll make it proper 100 so if we hit play we will get this kind of animation as you can see this animation is little bit fast so i'll move these keyframes over here select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i'll move them over here now if we hit play we will get this kind of animation select this thing again and move this thing over here like that just like that now select this one hit ctrl d i'll move this thing over here hit ctrl d again and move this thing over here so if we hit play we will get this kind of poppy animation select all of them and hit u and i'll make some variations in their keyframes just like that so some animation will last long like that now select both all, all the three layers press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as pop up like that and hit ctrl d press s unlink this and make this minus 100 so if i see now we'll get this animation as you can see it start from this to so select both of them alt open bracket like that if you want then you can move it a little bit forward like that if we hit play now we will get this kind of animation now we will focus on our main logo animation but before that what we will do we will hit ctrl n to create a new composition and i'll call this comp as bubble and hit ok Press Ctrl Y to create solid background and for the background color I'll choose white color and simply hit OK. Now go to the effect and presets panel and search for bubble effect on it. We have some sim inbuilt simulation over here which is CC bubbles and simply double click. If I hit play now I'll get this kind of bubbly animations. I'll increase the speed a little bit just like that if you want to increase you can you can also increase the amount of these bubbles so we will get this kind of bubbly animation for the speed i will let's say choose 5 just like that so bubbles are ready i will go to the main animation now and now i will choose my ellipse tool but this time i don't want any stroke so i will delete the stroke i want fill over here and i will choose white color and by holding shift i will create one ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically like all that. Now select this ellipse and move this at this point and also convert this thing into 3D just like so. And I'll move it down somewhere over here like that. Now select this shape layer, press R for rotation and I'll make it let's say minus 90 now after that i'll go few frame forwards and from this point i'll move it over here create one keyframe on y rotation and at this point i'll make it zero select those keyframes and hit f9 just like that so as you can see we will get this kind of stuff Press S for scaling option and scale it a little bit downwards. Yep, so our circle is ready. Now we have to focus on our liquid animation. So for that what we will do, I will select this rectangle tool. And for the color, I will choose red color. And I will create a rectangle like that. Press Ctrl Alt Home to align this anchor point to the center. Go to the effect and presets panel and search for wave warp effect double click on it and i'll increase the width and i'll also increase the height just like that so we'll get this kind of animation 
Now again, type, go to the effect temperatures panel and search for turbulence displays. Just like that, I'll increase the size and also increase the amount somewhere like that. And I'll move this thing over here. I'll hide this for now. Yep. So now from this point, I want this thing to be animated. So I'll move this thing over here. Unhide this. Press P for position. Create one keyframe. Zoom out a little bit. Go few frame forwards. I'll move this proper over here. And at this point, I'll move this downwards. Shift this keyframes a little bit over here. Just like that. Now select those keyframes and hit F9. Select the shape layer, hit Ctrl D. Select the second layer. And for the fill, I'll choose the darker version of this layer. Hit OK. Hit Ctrl D again. Select the third one and I'll choose some extra darker version of this red. Like that. Now hit page down button two times and move this thing over here with the help of open bracket. Again hit page down button two times and move this thing over here. Just like that. Now select this layer and in the evolution I'll change the evolution of this one. Also select the first one and also change the evolution for this one. So now if I hit play we will get this kind of animations. Now select all the three layers, press Ctrl Shift C and I'll call it as liquid and hit OK, Alt, open bracket, just like that. Now select this layer, hit Ctrl D, hit enter and let's call this layers as a mask and hit OK, drag it at the top, select this liquid, press F4 and I'll call it as alpha mat, in track mat I'll choose alpha mat. Now go to the liquid, select this one, press P for position and bring it a little bit down. Also select this one, hit U, go over here, also bring it a little bit down. Select this one and also bring it a little down. So we will get this kind of liquid animation over here. Now after that what we will do, press Control 0 and now we will import our coca cola logo so i'll drag this logo over here press s for scaling option and scale it inside this circle go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect and simply double click on it and color i'll choose white color like that now select this liquid hit Control d and Make sure that you are deleting this alpha mat for this. No title track and drag this liquid at the top. Select this logo and choose alpha mat. So now we will get this kind of animation over here. Now as you know we have created this bubble effect over here. So for that what we will do. We will select this last shape layer. Hit Control D. Drag it at the top. Drag it at the top. And hit Control 0 to open our project window and we have this bubble i will drag down to this main composition and make sure that you are choosing alpha mat and select this bubble composition press s for scaling option and scale it at this size just like that and i want this thing to be animated from this point so i'll move this thing over here just like that so if I hit play now, we will get this kind of animations over here. Press F4 to select all the keyframes, I mean all the layers. Press F4 for, to get this option. Hit Ctrl A to select all the layers and make sure that you are choosing this motion blur option over here. So it will add a little bit motion blur in our animation just like that. So our main animation. It's almost ready now simply create one adjustment layer and search for glow effect on it increase the glow radius somewhere around like that increase the glow threshold to top 100 and for the glow intensity i'll just 0.5 so if we hit play button 
we will get this kind of animation hit ctrl 0 again select this bubble hit ctrl D to duplicate in the project window and double click on it select this white solid layer and press ctrl shift Y on keyboard and now we will change the color of this layer into red and hit ok hit ok go to the main animation and bring it down this thing over here so now if we hit play we will get this kind of animation now go to this bubble select this layer go to the effect and presets panel and now we will decrease the speed and we will also decrease the amount of bubbles and if we see we will get this kind of animations over here so yep this is our final animation for this coca cola logo now there is another thing you can do at the last right click new create one null object select all the layers except for this last bubble and those who are layer those layers who are not parent with anyone make sure that you are making parent with this like this bottle png is parent with this null one so i deselect this and those who are not parent with the anyone we will parent with this null two then initially select this null two press s create one keyframe and go to around let's say six seconds hit n and i'll increase this size like that so we will also get some scaling animation as our animation goes further just like that or you can make it 120 also like that now i'll select this bubble too i think we will also can do we will change the amount to 50 just like that hit ctrl 0 again select this bubble 2 and hit ctrl d double click on it select this one press ctrl shift to y and i'll choose white color for this hit ok go to the effect and presets panel uh, we will we can change the frequency if we want and we can also increase the amount and we can change the bubble size hit ok hit ctrl 0 and i'll also bring down this bubble over here and what we will do i'll move this a little bit backwards so it will not gonna mix with our red bubbles and if you want then you can decrease the opacity of this white bubbles also so now if we hit play we'll get this bubble animations and also our logo animation So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then stay tuned.